what will happen when I set fire to the vodka-soaked shoelace wrapped around the bottle and plunge it into a jug of cold water. Will it... I've gathered a small audience, now for the props, which include vodka in a shot glass, an empty beer bottle and a borrowed shoelace. Right, OK, I'm going to soak a shoelace in vodka. Now, vodka is flammable. OK, I'm going to wrap this around here. All righty? Right, cool. Here's my question to you guys. Icy cold water. I'm going to set fire to the shoelace, I'm going to let it burn for a bit, and then I'm going to dunk it straight into the ice cold water. What's going to happen to that? It'll put the fire out. Put the fire out, right, OK. Yeah, so, I, think, I think the same. OK. Maybe the flame will go back up into the bowl and light the bowl. Right. What do you think is going to happen? Um, I don't know, maybe it will cut the bottle clean in half because of the hot and cold. OK. So, what will happen when I set fire to the vodka-soaked shoelace wrapped around the bottle and plunge it into a jug of cold water? Will it extinguish the flame, light the bottle, break the bottle in half, or none of the above? Earlier, I set fire to the vodka-soaked shoelace tied around this bottle and asked what will happen when I plunge the bottle into ice-cold water. Will it extinguish the flame? light the bottle, break the bottle in half, or none of the above. So I spark it up. OK, here we go. OK. I'm going to let it burn out for a bit. OK. Let's find out who's right. Can you hear that? Check it out. Well done. <laughs> So, there were two right answers. The flame was extinguished by plunging the bottle into the water, but that's no great surprise. But more impressively, the bottle broke in half when it came into contact with the cold water. The real question is, why? Now, what happens to things when you heat them up? They expand. So, when I burn the shoelace soaked in alcohol, it rapidly heats up and expands the circle of glass directly beneath it. Then, when I plunge it into the water, the sudden change in temperature rapidly cools this heated area of glass down, making it contract suddenly, and this thermal shock causes it to split in a near-perfect circle at the position of the shoelace. That is what happened to your beer bottle. 